Sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong, sing of good things, not bad, sing of happy, not sad, sing, sing a song. Make it simple to last your whole night long. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. <laughs> this number, Sing, is my uh, favorite song. Very pretty song, originally yeah. from Sesame Street. Oh, Sesame Street? Mm -hmm. I, I thought you always know. No, actually, uh, I heard the tune when uh, Karen and I were guesting on a television special. Oh, I see. And it caught my ear, and mm -hmm. I went ahead and did the arrangement of it, and Karen and I released it. Uh, you make a beautiful music. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, when did you start taking an interest in music? And how old were you when you start, started writing songs? Well, interest in music, actually, from the time I was around three years old. Mm -hmm. uh, that consisted um, entirely of listening to my father's record collection mm -hmm. and uh, music that was on popular radio at the time. Oh, I see. And I started uh, piano lessons when I was around uh, 10, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. And not too long after that, I started writing some uh, very simple little songs. Mm, I see. Uh, you're very good at playing piano, really. I heard that uh, when you were rehearsing. So have you ever studied classics? Yes, when I was uh, around 16, my piano teacher uh, thought I, I should audition for the Yale Music School. Uh, we lived in New Haven, Connecticut at the time, so I uh, uh. was accepted there and studied some uh, classical piano. Oh, I see. Could you play something for me? Well, I can play uh, something. A little part is uh, all right. Kind of pop classical, part of okay. uh, Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Oh, great. <laughs> favorite song. Um, you know, my father also loves uh, classic music, so she, he has many, lots of LP. So I heard about uh, classic when I was five years old, ah. so since, like you. Mm -hmm. And I started to learn the piano, but uh, I quit uh, when I was 15 years old, <laughs> so I'm not good now. But uh, maybe I, I think I remember something. No, I forgot. <laughs> I can name that tune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chopin's you try. Polonaise. Yeah, yeah Polonaise, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can, you should do You know, it, that, uh, the opening melody to the Polonaise became a big hit in uh, the 40s for Perry Como. They oh, really? Till the end of time. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, I see. I, yeah. uh, well, I studied, uh, again, mm -hmm. uh, been many a year since I've played <laughs> anything like this. I, I'm too busy playing. But uh, <laughs> I studied uh, Mozart. <laughs> I need to do it cleaner than that. That's better.
long time. <laughs> I, I need to practice. I need to do my scales. <laughs> But it's fun. Yes, but fun. Uh, what kind of music uh, influenced you at that time? Well, earlier on, uh, back in the early 50s, when I was uh, about uh, five and six years old, uh, Les Paul and Mary Ford. Mary Ford. Les Paul and Mary Ford. Uh, he uh, is the person uh, credited with uh, the overdub sound. Yeah. Great Chris guitarist. Was, uh, guitar, yes and came up with the multi-voices, oh, <coughs> and Mary Ford sang the voices, and uh, uh, it's a sound that uh, had a most profound effect on, on me, definitely. What else? Oh, a lot of things, really, from uh, the 50s and 60s. Uh, there were uh, different, uh, of course, Nat King Cole, I felt, uh, was one of the greatest, Perry Como, mm. uh, and Bing, and Guy Mitchell, and Patti Page. Uh, mm. When rock came, uh, really to the surface in uh, uh, 55, 56, the early Elvis recordings. Uh, oh, how about <laughs> this? So a lot of things. Of course, going into the 60s then, there was uh, the bossa nova, mm -hmm. uh, Yobin, that I love so much, and then, of course, the British invasion of uh, late 63, early 64, oh, and that, that, of course, changed the course of popular music. Could you please play something and sing? Uh, 1960s. Well, 60s, let's yeah. know. There's so many, but... Uh, <laughs> style someday Old dream maker you heartbreaker and Henry Mancini wrote so many ah. beautiful and of course there was a The 
is Paul's key, of course, not oh, for us yes. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and Bacharach. Third Bacharach. You see this guy, Herb Alpert says, oh, yeah. this guy's in love with you. Yes, I'm in love. Who looks at you the way I do? When you smile, I can tell we love each other very well. No, my hands are shaking, etc. My lyrics are. <laughs> uh, when was Carpenter's debut? 1969. 1969. 1969. Mm, 19 years ago. 19 years ago. Oh, I see. Herb Alpert signed us to uh, AM Records in April, and our first album uh, debuted in October of that year, 1969. I see. Could you tell some episode of those days? Oh, sure. Well, uh, we uh, spent a lot of time. Uh, recording well, all of our albums, but our mm -hmm. first one we were particularly excited, and uh, uh, we were uh, heard by a number of different people, and one was uh, Bert Bacharach, mm -hmm. uh, whom we looked up to uh, quite a bit. And uh, he asked us to open the show for him uh, before we really had our first hit, and out of that came Close to You, which of course he co-wrote. Well, what's uh, some of new projects uh, you are planning in the future? Well, uh, I'm producing, uh, along with Herb Alpert, uh, a 16-year-old boy that he has just signed to uh, the record label. His name is Scott Grimes, and I think Scott he's going to have Grimes. a big future. He's an excellent oh. singer and actor. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, I recently finished Akiko Kobayashi's uh, new album, producing and arranging that. Yeah. And we're working now also on uh, a television movie, on Karen's story, the Karen Carpenter story. Oh, that's great. So I have a lot how, to do. How, how long? That? It, it, two hours? Well, it's two hours with commercials. It'll Once? be about an hour and 38 minutes. Once? And uh, then each week? No, no one, one, one two-hour one. movie. Oh, I see. Mm. You're going to start? Uh, starting? Well, I'm an executive producer. No, actually, uh, first, I'm not an actor. <laughs> And secondly, even if I were, they need uh, people younger because it's got to uh, cover 20 years of our lives. So, oh, I uh, see. From, from in three simple words, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old to play me back then. Uh, but I, I don't act. Really. I so I'm executive producer mm -hmm. and technical advisor, and I'm doing all the, uh, the music. Of course, mm -hmm. we're using a lot of our original mm -hmm. records, but I'm doing original underscore uh -huh. for the, I see. the picture. So your voice is going to be... On, on the movie. Oh, yes. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the leading uh, actress, Cynthia lip, Gibb. Lip songs? Uh, she's going to lip sync, uh, yes. Lips. I see. And she did an excellent job. I mean, that's uh, a lot for someone, not only to learn their lines and, and characteristics of uh, mannerisms of a certain person, but mm -hmm. uh, to get the lip sync down exactly right and play the drums at the same time, of course, <laughs> because earlier in, in our career, Karen sang the songs from the drums. I see. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 